Welcome to Spoken Reviews, home of the Spoken Reviews. All right, guys, now that you got your brand new Tesla Cybertruck home, you have seven days, 100 miles to submit tickets with errors back to Tesla. So let's walk through, let's do a quick inspection of the vehicle. Let's take note of any issues that we have. That way, that way we can log them into the app and they can be serviced. Now, if you wait past the seven days or go over 100 miles, um, you could run into more issues. So like if you find a scratch or a ding, you could definitely find more issues. So it's best to go ahead and do your inspection, follow the rules, get those submitted in. And I like to get mine submitted in within 24 hours. Um, and I like to point out the things that I find with the service center, delivery center. That way I can actually point it out to say, hey, I spoke to this person about this and they acknowledged it. So let's go ahead and get started and see what we find. All right, so as we start the inspection, I will note that I don't have the best lighting. It's not a sunny day outside. It's kind of, you know, overclassed. So I am going to use this extra little spotlight. This is something cheap that I got from Walmart a couple years back. Um, super cheap and easy to do. Just get it plugged in. Um, and it really uh, assists with the lighting so that you can see stuff, right? Because there's certain things you're, you're not going to see. And one of my complaints with the delivery process is it's so dark in the service center that it's hard to see, right? But as you guys can see with a light like this, it really does light things up. So with the light, without the light, with the light, without the light, right? And I don't mean to be nitpicky. Uh, so small stuff that I see, I'll, I'll let go um, because everything's gonna have issues eventually. But for anything big, you wanna go ahead and get that notated early so that they can address it. Um, and there's no dispute on if it came like that or if it was, uh, you know, user error slash you messed it up yourself. So having a light, super helpful tip, uh, makes a big difference in spotting certain things. Um, also, I'll note that what I like to do is I like to sit in every single seat and take time, right? So uh, every single seat in the car, driver's seat, front passenger seat, uh, the back seat, middle, left and right, sit in every single seat, push every single button, use the light, look at different angles. Uh, and then also if you need someone else to have an extra pair of eyes with you, go ahead and do that, right? Because again, there've been times where people, you know, spot, you know, maybe a huge gash um, somewhere and you're like, oh crap, didn't notice that because I didn't see it, right? So a lot of times we get really excited about stuff. We wanna make sure we do our due diligence to uh, properly inspect. All right, so one of the things that you wanna do is you wanna check all the trim pieces. So you wanna basically go through and just make sure that everything is on here properly. Um, so just pushing it, making sure everything is nice and nice and tight. Uh, if there's an issue, a lot of the stuff you can fix yourself, uh, but sometimes there's some bigger issues that you can't fix yourself. Uh, so for me, um, earlier, this piece right here was sticking out. I went ahead and pushed it in myself, but it wasn't properly sealed, right? Things like that could definitely allow for water to get in. Also for wind noise, you wanna be very cognizant that you, you check every single one of these. Um, so I'll come on to the, the back side here. And I'll do the same thing, right? So I'll start from here. I'll just go through and make sure that everything is properly in here, nice and sealed, nice and tight, right? And I'll say that they've gotten a lot better. Um, and I've already done an initial walkthrough of this entire vehicle. And there's only a couple small things that I'm gonna actually put in the service ticket. So I will say that kudos to Tesla for really kind of refining their own internal quality checks. It's not perfect, but it is more in line with uh, the big uh, domestic manufacturers, right? As far as the quality goes. All right, guys, you can see I'm in the front passenger seat and I'm basically just inspecting with my light and visually inspecting uh, looking for like scratches and scrapes and things like that um, I'll note that the the surface on this material isn't perfect but it's acceptable right uh, when you look at other cyber trucks it's gonna be very 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 similar so it's what to expect um, but just looking for anything you know any like crazy defects or issues that need to be resolved right so I'm looking down here don't see any issues here. Um, I will note that I just looked at this Alcantara and I see this kind of wornness right here. I'll kind of look at this a little careful. Might get a baby wipe and see if that wipes off. Uh, but if not, I might notate that. Uh, it looks like maybe something's on it or maybe just a little off. But things like that you want to you wanna notate. Um, also, you're looking for like any like 
big, crazy, like scrapes in this material, right? Because it's a really nice quality material, but once you get like a scrape in it, it's gonna, it's gonna be there, right? So just really taking your time, going all the way down, looking at everything, doing a really good visual inspection, right? Um, you don't wanna three weeks from now be driving on a sunny day and then look and then be like, oh crap, there's a problem. So you wanna catch that stuff now while it can be fixed. All right, and again, just doing a, a good visual inspection of the seat. This one looks pretty, pretty good. Um, there was like a little oil stain here and no one's ever sat in the seat. Um, I did, was able to get it off with a, a baby wipe. So that worked out good. So again, seat looks good. And then there's no like crazy scrapes here. So that's all, all goodness, right? And you really kind of want to, you know, get down here and look Make sure things are plugged in, right? So no crazy missed wire there on the risers. The risers look good. No crazy scrapes there. Everything's looking good. Yep. Yeah, things are looking really, really, really good down here. Um, while I'm down here, I'm going to go ahead and go on to the driver's side and kind of do a visual inspection over there too. Again, with the light, you can see a lot more. Um, yeah, things are looking really, really good. All right, now we're in the the back passenger side. Um, so again, looking at the door, looking for any issues or defects. Don't see really any. Um, yeah, it looks, looks pretty good. Uh, let's see, looking all the way down, getting down to the ground. Again, looking, not really seeing any crazy defects. And again, I'm looking for like big scratches or scrapes that are like pure defects things that I want to speak up about, things that would bother me uh, with an $80,000 vehicle, right? All right, so let's go look at the seats now. Again, seats are looking pretty, pretty good, and I've already done kind of a quick inspection. Um, I will say that the spotlight, for me at least, it allows me to kind of focus in and look at something specifically. All right, now I like to sit in the seat. Again, I'm making sure the seat is good. I'm gonna test the seat belts to make sure the seat belts work. I'm gonna, you know, verify the child latches are there. All that good stuff uh, here. We have a hanger rack and we have a light. You know, again, just verifying that everything that you have works. Because I don't, people, everyone wants to come to work and do a good job. No one intentionally neglects something. And I, and I believe the test employees are very intentional and care about the product. It's just sometimes people make mistakes, right? Sometimes, you know, a supplier has something that's that's scratched. Sometimes something gets scratched in the, man, the factory. And you want to make sure that those, you know, issues, even though they're not intentional, don't become your problem, right? So, again, I'm just doing my inspection, uh, making sure that everything is working. All right, guys, as you can see, all three seat belts are working, which is good. And I've sat in them to make sure that they're all working. Also, looking to verify that all have the anchors. Again, if you have kids, extremely important. So again, you guys can see anchor, anchor. And then you also have the anchors in the middle, which is also really cool and important. And not all the trucks had this. And this is another perk of the reason why we got the Cybertruck. And you can see the anchors over there, right? So that's all the goodness that you want to see and verify. And again, no one comes to work making an intentional mistake but you just wanna verify that things are looking good on your end. All right, now we're on the driver's seat. Again, inspecting the, the trim, which we've done, making sure that everything looks good all the way around and everything on this side was nice and flush. Making sure that things meet, making sure that wherever there's a joint like that, that you don't have any issues with that joint. And again, looking for cracks, looking for wear and tear. You know, sometimes maybe somebody grabs uh, a trim piece off the shelf that has an issue, right? Um, just because it's an issue there, it shouldn't, doesn't mean it be your issue. Now, I will note that the one thing that I did see with this seat is there is about a four inch defect, and I saw this at delivery and did mention it. Uh, most likely they're gonna have to replace the seat. It's probably gonna be the, the, the thing, the fix for this seat. Um, and again, not anyone's fault, just was installed. Um, and I am not happy with the quality of that, so I will be putting that in as probably my main sticking issue with this seat. But overall, 
Again, pretty doing a pretty good look around. Things are looking pretty good. Uh, steering wheel looking pretty good. No like crazy gashes or things like that. And again, I'm gonna make sure that all the buttons work, not all the functionality works. Um, again, the no like crazy scratches, right? Um, also with the dash, everything for the most part is looking pretty, pretty good, right? So no real complaints there. All right, onto the truck bed. You wanna open and close this a couple times. And really, you're listening for any crazy defects, loud noises. Again, have a flush seal here, and then I'm running my hands against this, making sure there are no gaps. Uh, again, the expectation is not for it to be, you know, perfectly water sealed, but it should, you know, be resistant. Um, I have heard of people trying to put a seal in here. I'm not going to do that for now, uh, but I might just like a rubber ceiling here, but everything looks pretty good, right? So just checking along, making sure that, you know, we have quality here. Um, open close. Again, you want to catch this stuff early, right? Because yes, it's going to be covered under your warranty, but better to get it right out the gate, any issues, than to, you know, wait and find it later on. So this is looking really good. And then of course you want to make sure that everything closes nice and good and that you have good alignment. Um, so again, looking at it close, everything closes nice and flush. Again, really want to look for these types of issues. Again, the panel gaps, um, it's not perfect but it's pretty even across, right? So whether you, you know, you use a pencil or your finger, for me, using my finger, I'm seeing that it's pretty even across. Also, you wanna make sure that you don't have sharp edges. If you have a sharp edge, you can definitely get them to, to do, to, to kind of get that down, but you should be able to run your fingers across the edges. So again, on this side, the alignment seems to be good. Um, uh, let's see, kind of looks like this side, well, I guess, yeah, this side and that side are still a little lower. That side might be a little lower than this side. Um, so I might just put in the ticket and see what they say. Um, but yeah, it's looking, looking pretty, pretty good. Pretty, pretty sharp. Um, on the exterior, I'm definitely going to get this cyber truck wrapped. Don't know what color i'll probably wait three or four months which means i'm going to be waiting you know dealing with the dirtiness uh, but i don't want to be quick to wrap it and then you know miss just the you know the metallic feel so i'm willing to you know deal with cleaning it you know we'll see this is day one right so i might regret that um but as of now i'm ready to do that um for the most part they've done a good job there are a couple of imperfections that i will note um Let's see, on the hood, we have this one right here. I don't know if you guys can see that. A little imperfection there, so I'll, I'll note that. Uh, but for the most part, we did a pretty good once-over inside, um, and I'm pretty happy with it. There is a, a little scratch in here that I, I, will, I will note, and I'll try to get them to, and they can basically buff that out. Um, I think he told me they're using a certain type of pad uh, and it basically buffs out the surface. It removes a very thin, thin layer of the surface of the metal, but it basically buffs it out and it redoes the finish. Yeah, but for the most part, they've done a really good job. Uh, there was another little thing here that I need to them, I'll put it in there so they can address that. Um, there was one back here that he got, uh, that I pointed out that he took care of. Uh, and again, it's one of those things that you just want to walk up and down, up and down, up and down, different angles, different lighting uh, to catch these things, right? Uh, but for the most part, things are looking good. Now on the tires, again, you want to make sure that you're going through all the tires. Um, again, this is the core. So this is going to be a uh, more of a street tire than the off-road tires that come on the other version. But you want to, you know, make sure everything looks good. 
Make sure you don't have any like crazy, you know, wear, wear and tear on the tires, any bulges on the tires. And again, it's things like this, like, you know, when you pick up delivery and you get really excited and you don't always pay attention. And then it's things like that, that, that will catch you, right? And again, no one means to, you know, make a mistake and, you know, put on a bad tire, but stuff happens, right? Uh, manufacturing processes aren't perfect. Every manufacturer has issues. I just want to kind of do that inspection just to make sure that you're good. And again, this is my fourth Tesla. Never had a problem with a tire from the factory. Um, and I think part of that safety is just, you know, making sure that it's there. Also, you can see the valve stem, making sure the valve stems are there. Uh, the truck has to be put, I think it's like 51 PSI. So you want to make sure that, especially as we head into winter time, that everything's looking good. So yeah, it's looking pretty nice and solid. This one's moving a little bit more, but still looking really good. Again, I'm looking at the tire. You got a little rock there, but no like crazy nail or anything like that. Um, I will probably go to Discount Tire and, and get a quote for how much it costs to go ahead and insure these. Because again, I plan on keeping this truck for, you know, a long time. Um, especially if I'm only doing you know, 10 to 14,000 miles a year, uh, even just under warranty, I'm covered for a long time. But there's really nothing else out there that I want. I think this is the, the Mount Everest for me for vehicles. Um, the speed, the size, the technology, right? So yeah, and again, this one's looking good too. So good all around on the tires. All right, and one thing that you wanna do is you wanna make sure that you pull the seats back and look at everything, because here you can see this piece of the seat riser is cracked again came from the factory like that car is you know 12 hours old from delivery and this is cracked so we will note that and make sure that we get that taken care of all right so the last thing i want to talk about is inspecting your glass um you want to look around the edges and look for any like micro cracks right because micro cracks can actually become bigger cracks and you got this big 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 you know, beautiful glass. It's the biggest piece of glass in uh, auto manufacturing, right? So you just want to make sure that you don't have any, you know, crazy cracks on this that could spread and then end up, you know, being a claim on you or have it be like a situation where it's, you know, you versus them. You don't know who actually, you know, damaged the glass. So again, just taking the time, taking the due diligence to inspect all the glass and just and just you know making sure things are going up uh, so again looking at the glass everything looks good no cracks put my fingers on it looks good right also I've seen people have issues with this glass online hey just make sure that that looks good right all the little pieces of glass you know touch it inspect it make sure right due diligence right due diligence also, don't forget about this rear glass, right? Like, just because it's blocked 90% of the time doesn't mean that it can't break. So make sure you inspect that. Also, the roof, make sure you look at it very carefully. Uh, look for any cracks there, right? So get down, look, use a light, look. Um, also, get up here and look, right? Uh, again, you want to catch this stuff early so that the problems with the vehicle don't become your issues, right? You catch it now, first seven days, 100 miles, put the ticket in and they'll fix it um, as the assumption that the problem came from the factory. If you don't catch it early, it's going to be your problem, right? No way to prove it if you don't catch it early. All right, guys, if you made it this far, thank you for watching. Uh, this video is a little bit longer than I like to do as far as videos on the YouTube channel, but I do think it's very important for us to, you know, thoroughly understand what we should be looking for just to make sure that we have a quality delivery, that we don't have problems in the future. Again, absolutely love Tesla, love EVs, love gas cars, love all vehicles. This is all about just knowledge and sharing, right? So if you guys have any questions or comments, leave them below. If you have any advice, Things that you've seen, drop it below, right? Let's let's make sure this is a community that we're working together to ensure that people are getting the results that they need. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching. I appreciate the support. Hit the thumbs up and uh, sub to the channel. Thanks a lot and have a great day.